beautiful November, mid-November, and it's the start of the fall run for the North Shore here in Manhasset Bay. Uh, during this time, there's a lot of fish everywhere, and they, they move pretty quick, and today there's a couple of birds around. I think we're going to use one of my favorite lures, Savage Eel 7-inch. Um, um, wow, that's pretty good stuff over there. We'll get it in there. Swimming on top, and we should get lucky. There we go. And no, oh, there he goes. We're on. Looks like these fish are small. You're looking at probably around, oh, I don't know, 20 to 26 range inch fish. Um, there we go. It's really fun and this savage sand eel uh, lure is one of my favorites because it's so versatile you can do anything with it you can let it swim on top and if you're marking fish down the bottom you can sink it down the bottom uh, now sure you can use a swim shad which is almost equally effective but one advantage of the savage sand eel is that it can get to the bottom a lot faster so I just move a hundred yards away from where we were last, and look at this, bunch of birds. Um, there's feeding up top. Let's get it in there. Oh, there goes a the hit. Oh, there goes a the hit. Now my favorite color for the uh, Savage Sand Eel is the Mac, Mackety Mac. Ooh, it's got a little bit of pull on this one. And they're up in the surface here. And they're feeding up on top, look at that, that's beautiful. Um, so the one that works best for me is the Sand Eel. And if you're gonna buy any of them, buy the, the Sand Eel, uh, the, uh, the mackerel uh, pattern. It's deadly. Now, of course, the second one, if you had to choose, I would go with white. Um, white really works for any kind of lure out there. And it's, it generally is a very good color. And when you get into all the other ones, you know, the pink, and other, yeah, they all work. Um, but I just found that Mac is the best one for me. And that's because bass likes to feed on Macs and when they're migrating you know at certain parts like Cape Cod they're eating max and they know what it is um, so that's the one that I use the most and it's been the most successful for me especially using the uh, 8 inch five and a half ouncer that gets down to the bottom like if you're in uh, you know Cape Cod Canal you know you think that because the edges are rocky that the whole canal is rocky no it's not it's actually very sandy down the middle. Oh, there he goes. So the trick was catching big fish. And this is actually where I got the savage from. You know, when I was fishing up in Cape Cod, everybody was saying, hey, get the savage, that works. And, and, and I did, and it worked. So I threw it out as far as I can into the channel, let it sink down to the bottom. And once in the bottom, you start skipping it through the bottom and making that commotion. And sure enough, I got my fish and anybody who wasn't using Savage that day did not catch the fish that I was convinced then. So ever since then, I started buying these because if it worked up there, why wouldn't it work here? So I started using Savages, Savage Daniels, down here in New York, South Shore, North Shore. And sure enough, it was just as deadly as it was up in Cape Cod Canal. And I've been catching crazy fish with this, and I swear by it. Uh, so if you want to catch some fish, and uh, you're trying to decide what to buy, my recommendation is going with the Savage Sand Eel. You can't lose. You can do anything with it. It's got great weight, great profile, and that rubber in the back, the tail, I don't know what they use, but... It's got a lot of movements, causes a lot of commotion. And uh, yeah, look at that, oof, I'm getting hit left and right. Going towards the bottom. No birds here. 
No, nothing. But if there's fish, Savage will get them. Uh, I am not sponsored by anybody. It's just my personal opinion here, so. Just want to let you know. There you go. 